G'day guys, I'm Marco from Orgatalk and today we're going to show you how to assemble one of our MT900mm trenches. Your trench will come in a box like this. We've got our boom here, our danger bar, our spoil auger, our guard for the spoil auger, we've got our clean out, we got our brace that the boom attaches to, we've got our chain guard as well. We've got our nose roll and bearing. So we're going to assemble all these and we're going to make a trench out. This is one of our bolt-on bodies. As you can see, we call it a bolt-on as a butterfly plate to adapt to our frame, literally bolts on the side. We also do this trencher with a welded section, which is for skid steers specifically. With the bolt-on section, you can fit it to a mini loader, to a skid steer, and an excavator. One last thing before we put our trencher on the frame to assemble, we're going to fit the hydraulic motor to it. Now we're going to remove the plate, which our hydraulic motor is going to bolt onto. This gearbox will come with oil already fitted into it, so just ensure that it is pretty straight to the ground, otherwise you're going to have oil going everywhere. Once the bolts are off, the plate will come straight off. Obviously check the O-ring, make sure it's in good condition, and to make sure there's obviously oil in the gearbox itself. Now it's important that the ports of the motor are facing the opposite to our depth plate. I'm going to use some Loctite as well to ensure it doesn't rattle loose. From here, we're just going to tighten up these bolts to ensure that our motor is correctly attached. From here, once secure, we're just going to go around and just make sure that they are nice and firm. This is our lifting point and the support for the danger bar, which we're going to affix to the body of our trencher. Okay, so from here, we're going to make sure that we put our bolts thread outwards. That way, there's nothing protruding inside and it's not going to fail on the chain or anything else. With this lifting point, we're going to use a 24mm spanner on the inside and just a 24mm socket for the nut on the outside. From here, it's time to affix our trencher body to our frame. Now we're going to fix our clamping plate to the top of the butterfly plate and hard fix it to our trencher. Okay, when you affix your trencher to the frame, just make sure the motor is about in line with the end of the frame. That just ensures when you hook your hoses up and when you attach a spoil guard to the other side, that it all fits up nicely on the frame. We're now going to affix our boom to our trencher body. One thing you must note is this is our deep channel over here. And then on the other side, we've got our shallow channel. The deep channel goes towards the trencher body itself. Now we're going to take off the nuts and the washers off our boom adjuster. This is where we're going to tension our chain as well and this is going to allow us to affix the boom to the trencher body. And we're just going to tighten them finger tight for now. We're now going to affix our nose roller and nose roller bearing to the front of the boom. Going to put some Loctite on these. So from here, we're going to ensure that our chain is an actual cog of the spline sock at the back, and obviously make sure that the chain is lined up with the front nose roller as well. From here, we can just lower it. We've just used a pin punch to join our chain together, so we can then push our joining pin in from the other side, and that way the chain won't fall apart. Once the joining pins come through, we put our little lock off pin and then we just bend it around to ensure it doesn't come off. So what we're going to do now, we're going to tension the chain. So we're going to put a 24 mil socket on the nut and we're just going to ensure that the two nuts on the other side of the adjuster are nice and loose. We're going to get our ruler and we want to tension this to about 40 to 50 mil. Let's get our ruler. We're now going to tighten up the other side of the chain tensioner. We're going to use a 30 mil socket. Very important when doing these ones, you do a little bit by a little bit. Otherwise, the actual boom will be skewed and it won't tension correctly. So ensure, like I said, you do a little bit by a little bit. As you can see now, once you've tensioned up the actual chain adjuster, it's brought the chain up a fair bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to go around the other side, we're going to re-check the height of the chain and make sure it is where it should be. That's too tight there, so 20 mil, we want to be between 40 and 50 mil. So we're going to loosen that up a bit and ensure it's where we want it to be. Once we've got the chain adjusted correctly, we're going to just put our locking nut on, make sure it's nice and tight, get our 24 mil spanner, 
and we're just gonna nip that up. Now we're gonna fit our guard. We're just gonna make sure that these two line up nice and correctly so when we put our cleaner for the spoil auger, it's gonna bolt up perfectly. Next we're going to take off the cleaner and we're going to fix it to the trencher itself. Take off the metal plate which goes behind. And from here we're going to fix the metal plate. Now we're going to fix our spool auger to the trencher. What you'll notice is it's got hubs on both sides. We've done this so that if you run a wider chain, uh, like a 300 mil wide chain, you can see the distance between the fighting and the hub is different. And you obviously get the bigger spacing for the wider chain. It saves you having to have two augers. Now that we've got our cleanup auger firmly attached, as you can see now, as I mentioned the gap, this is a 150 wide combination chain. It's got tungsten teeth as well as earth teeth. As we are saying before, you can see the bigger gap. That's if you were gonna run a 250 or a 300 wide chain. Now we're going to fit our danger bar. Now we're going to fix our scraper to our clean out. This just helps you clean the hole. Now we're going to fix our crumber cleaner. When you tighten up the nut, just make sure you don't over tighten it, otherwise you won't be able to pivot the clean out. You want to be able to put it up if need be. We're now going to put on our chain guard. As you can see, the numbers for the different depths with our depth plate over here and the chain width. So 100 mil, 150 and 200. This is 150 mil as we said before. So what we're going to do, we're going to flip it around so the numbers face inside. What we're gonna do now is fit our serial plates. You can see the two pre-drilled holes for our tags. The very last thing to do is fit some stickers to our newly built trencher. and your trencher is now complete and ready to go. Just bear in mind with all our products at Orbit Talk with the Plenty Gearbox, six year warranty in the gearbox and a three year warranty on the hydraulic motor. If you've got any questions, please give us a call or drop us an email. Otherwise, happy trenching.